Who would have thought that a collaboration between a master perfumer and a master glassmaker would result in one of the most influential scents and one of the most successful scents of our time? This is Beckert Rouge 540. What makes it tick? Let's go. Okay, BR540 was born with a chance collaboration of master perfumer Francis Kirk John and master glassmaker Bacarat. He tried to recreate a scent that would evoke the scent of this distinct ruby red Baccarat crystals. Now these crystals are achieved by infusing glass and yes, gold powder in order for them to achieve that distinct Baccarat ruby red color. Now this mixture is heated up to 540 degrees, hence the name Baccarat Rouge 540. Now backtrack to 2014, this was initially released as a limited edition of only 250 pieces. That 250 pieces is set to commemorate the 250th anniversary of the company Baccarat. And then a year later, it has become a staple part of the MFK line. Alright, now with all the hype surrounding BR540 from the get-go, what does it actually smell like? They get this um, candy floss type of scent. This pink candy floss type of scent which we can attribute to the genius use of ethyl maltol. This is the one compound responsible for its sweet candy-like facets. There have also been reports of smelling like something sterile, like a dental clinic. Plus there's this airy saffron in the background. We can also sense this mineralic type of uh, smell like ambergris. Okay, now in summary, I think this is sparkling, it is sweet, it is transparent, it really conjures up the image of uh, crushed ruby crystals. Longevity, it's 8 plus hours on my acidic skin. Alright, because this one is quite tricky, um, the way that you would know if it lasts on you is to ask someone. Because this is one of those scents that makes me anosmic or makes me lose my sense of smell um, just like a Ventus however when I smell it I smell continuous puffs of this on my skin now for the siyaj yes people can trace your location um, I think it is that strong it performs that well okay people could literally trace where you are or where you have been the first one that makes this stick is his name Francis Kirk John. Yes, he became really, really famous after creating Le Mal. And after that, almost all of his creations, be it commissioned or for his own house, it has become a hit. So, needless to say, Francis Kirk John has earned our trust. And because of that, his release of BR540 became a huge hit. The fact that this one can be worn by any gender, I think it proves its strength and versatility so yeah it's one of those factors that made this tick another one as i've said is the performance performance solid eight plus hours siage really huge they could you could fill up a room you could you could be traced when you use this so that's another factor okay and last but not the least it's price tag man this is expensive it really did position itself BR540 position itself to be this really premium item okay it it really challenged um fragrance aficionados newbies experienced ones or whatnot that specific price point um that high price point challenged everyone to have this so yeah i think that pricing is very very strategic and it contributed to the success of BR540. Okay, the question, to buy it or not, do you like sweet scents? Do you want to smell like a sterile dental clinic? Um, these are the questions that you need to ask yourself before buying this. And I think at the end of the day, it's gonna be your wallet that's gonna decide. And I just need to remind you that there are a lot of uh, dupes for this. It has spawned a lot of uh, smell alikes. Uh, there's Ariana Grande Cloud for one. Now, personally, would I buy this? Uh, it's sweet. It's it's quite novel, to be honest. 
Um, however, this is not something that I am looking for right now. So for me to personally purchase this one right now, uh, I don't think so. No, I'm not. I'm not yet buying this one. There's too many alternatives for this. But if you really like to have this premium luxury item, I suggest you try it first or even a decant of this. Where can you buy decants? So if you're in the Philippines, I'll be posting the link down below on where you could buy um, 5 mLs or 10 mLs of this decant. Again, thank you for Ms. Judeline for sponsoring this, um, uh, this bottle. And as always, these are just my recommendations, opinions, and suggestions. And at the end of the day, you do you. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.